This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. She was the recipient, really, if you will, of four, we can call them graces, if you will, or, or ministries uh, that, were, that were to be a part of her life. Uh, she, first of all, she had seen angels. Who of you, not too many, I'm not asking you to raise your hands, but not too many of you, if any of you, have ever really seen an angel. You have encountered angels, didn't even know it. I have encountered angels in my life that I didn't know were angels. Until later, as I look back on it and say, that, there's no way that could have been anything but an angel. And there are angels exist, I believe, angels exist and continue to minister in our world today. My dad uh, had used to tell us the story of uh, one time out in Honduras, they were, we were traveling and he had just my, my next brother Tim and I were the only ones uh, born at that point. And they were traveling and dad had a, a flat tire, it was his second flat tire of the trip, which was not unusual in Honduras, and uh, didn't exactly know what to do and he got out and they were, we were way up in the mountains, and, which would be the, essentially the jungles of Honduras and didn't really know what to do. And he was there with his flat tire and has no, no spare. And a man came along and said he would help him. And uh, so dad said, well, I don't know what to do. He said, well, he says, I can take the tire. He said, I know a place where they'll fix it. And so dad said, okay, well, he went to get the lug wrench to take the tire off. When he came back, the tire was full and the man was gone. Now that was, in my opinion, an angel. I mean, how, how else can you explain that? Uh, and I know several incidents like that. I know Mar one time Marsha uh, had Eric and Jared in the car. They were just little, little tights, and they were in the back seat. They were all buckled in the way they were supposed to be. We didn't have to have car seats back in those days. But they were all buckled in. And she had stopped to get gas, and we had this little bitty old Mazda. Uh, and she was she had gotten out of the car to get gas, and some or other came out of here and went went, started rolling down into the street, it was up in Liberty, Missouri. It was rolling down to the street, and the, the street is called Kansas, uh, which is really the busiest street in, in Liberty. And there's cars, which was in my all the time, this car was rolling right down into it. And out of nowhere, a man just came running out, stopped the car, and of course my wife is just running frantically, she could, you know, she looks in to check on the kids, and she gets back out to thank the man, and the man is gone. Uh, no, and there was nowhere, there was no other car in the area of, of the gas station or parked anywhere around. Where did this guy come from? He wasn't a worker at the gas station. We really believe it was an angel. You know, we've seen incidents like that. You've seen incidents like that that happened in your life. So I really do believe in the presence of angels and that angels are at work doing the ministry of God in the world today and helping us in our ministry. Uh, I can go on and tell you other incidents over and over and over again where, where I positive that, uh, that, that these were angels. We don't really know, and the Bible talks about it, entertaining, entertaining angels unawares, as it uses that term, that we don't really know at the time that these are angels, uh, but there's an encounter, and, and I believe that God is at work in the world today, and that he's using his angels in the world today. So this idea that, that Mary saw angels, in my opinion, is not unusual because angels are at work. But the fact is that she had seen angels and it had an impact on her life. That was one of the four things that, that I want to bring up about these special graces. On behalf of Dan Hurst and